Hi, this is Lori from CustomizedWalls.com, one of the moderators for the interior design community. We have a very great show for you today. It's actually um, a near and dear topic to my heart. I've, I've explored this with my own family, and I think that it's something that designers would really, really enjoy getting to learn about and expand their market. Um, getting to know how to make a home safe for baby boomers. And I also have with me um, one of our fantastic moderators. She does our social media marketing um, moderation in the interior design community. Hi, Leslie. Say hi to everyone. Introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. This is Leslie Carruthers. I am the moderator here in the interior design community for social media. On Twitter, I'm TKP Leslie. And I'm very happy to be here with everyone today. I hope y'all are getting ready to have a great weekend ahead. And I'm very happy to have my own client joining us today, Mitzi Beach. Yeah, yeah. Mitzi, um, you are the number one expert in the country, in America, um, talking about baby, baby boomers and safety for home uh, for their home design. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've learned a lot about you, um, reading about you. I've also... Um, than friend of yours. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know a little bit about why this area attracted you and your interior design business. What actually got you interested in mm -hmm. taking on this advocacy role? Okay. I have been in this field for 30 years-ish and being a later, well, the oldest baby boomer myself, I am seeing changes in my clients, ourselves, and so I've been so inspired and passionate about helping my fellow baby boomers, 50 plus, whatever, prepare their homes because I'm, I'm not seeing it, Lori. I'm not seeing this. There's a disconnect, and so my passion is to connect that what is needed to what is valued and we want to make the we want to make the need valued and the only way that I've ever known that things like that happen is through education and social media is the way to educate today mainly and CEUs and whatnot so th there's just a stigma in our country about aging and we want to make it hip and sexy and safe uh, and, and make it palatable. So that's the mission, is to make it, we want, we want to like create this, I want to be part of this club. I want to be the leader out there, the pioneers, and that's what we're drawing designers in to do. Be the pioneer to make it a difference. I can, I can absolutely see that. I, um, I told you a little bit about my story with my grandmother. Um, yes. She lived independently in Florida. We were all, all, most of her family was from New Hampshire, and she desperately wanted to live where it was warm mm -hmm. for pretty much my grandfather's whole career. So when they retired, they moved um, to Florida, and he passed away many years before she did. And she was a widow for many years, and she was very active. I mean, she played bridge, she was a crossword puzzler, she loved Animal Planet, she was very mm -hmm. educated, belonged to the Yacht Club, put on lunches, wow. you know, she wow. <laughs> she had her calendar booked, and when we would come to visit, even though we only visited, you know, once in a while, she'd see, when can, I, when can I see you in to my schedule, I and she it. Write it down when she was going to fit us in and which appointments she wasn't going to move with her friends. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I watched as she aged. She lived um, to 86, and she, her home did become a little bit more dangerous. I think things that they didn't think about even 10 years earlier, like they bought um, a second floor condo instead of maybe buying a first floor. Exactly. And the stairs might be a challenge later on. Mm -hmm. um, driving, obviously, um, became a concern for our family. But it was also just, um, you know, constant, the reading, you know, larger print in the um, air conditioning unit, like the air condition, the, the thermostat, you know, so that she could read what the temperature was. Right, um, right. You know, it's sometimes it's not these big, huge shifts, and people don't think of it. They have to create this environment that looks like a nursing home, and they don't, and that's right. what we want to educate. It can be, like we said, hip and chic and luxurious, but safe. Yeah. 
I mean, there's three areas that are so easy. Well, the three things I think we should talk about, if um, permissible and you're agreeable to this, Lori. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> would be would be the the how the basic things to prepare your home for would be first off is lighting, 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 flooring, and appliances. And then secondly, it would be the kitchen. What are we doing in our kitchens? And thirdly, and not definitely last, uh, in, or at least in importance, is the bathroom. So if we were to start at the top on just preparing our homes uh, for whomever, you know, you have children. I mean, you're young, but you would still benefit by having better lighting, by having, um, you know, there's so many. I, 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 I'm a guru, kind of a fanatic, I guess, on lighting. I always have been. There's a joke with contractors that I've worked with forever. They'll go, if the plan specs for 10, Mitzi will give you 20, you know. <laughs> I, I feel like we never have, I not feel, I believe we never have enough lighting. And as we age, or even young children, they're often distracted, but older people and myself, I mean, you know, we always think somebody's older than we are. So a lot of people think I'm old, but I'm, I don't think that, I, I you know. Um, but I need more lighting. It's amazing how much lighting. So that's there. Flooring, we want to change flooring, uh, which is really one of the most economic things, unless you're putting in hardwood. Um, but still, I, I tell clients and I tell uh, people in my classes that when somebody balks about a price, I come back with how much will a fall cost you? How much is a life-changing incident going to cost you, not only in money, but lifestyle and change? So I, I won't go into how many, some tragic things that have happened around just in my area with people falling downstairs because the, the carpet was too cushy and the pad was too thick and the lighting was bad. So those are things that really, in this day and age, we don't have to have. I mean, that's so basic. Right. Mitzi, I'd like to ask you a question. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are, uh, that are watching this would be curious on your opinion. To, uh, to renovate or remodel a kitchen or to build one new and a bathroom, which are the two areas that you've just mentioned yes. as being so important, what would you say the average cost is to remodel a bathroom for to be Boomer Smarts, which is your your trademark symbol? I would say somewhere around thirty thousand, and that will get you a beautiful shower. That is, uh, we're doing a lot of showers today, Leslie, as you know, and not necessarily having a bathtub in in bathrooms where they can't knock out a wall where we just put in a beautiful shower as long as we the realtors and the national home builders say as long as there's a shower I mean excuse me a bathtub somewhere in the home it's not a necessity in the master anymore so in a lot of my boomer smart remodels we're taking out that bathtub putting in a gorgeous shower and that cuts down cost so I would say you know, the average is around 30. It can be less. It can be more, of course, depending on how extensive and how high-end your products are. But and what I, about the kitchen? Uh, and, the, and let me want one more comment. I'll say, you know, not necessarily to somebody your age, uh, Leslie, or certainly not your age, Lori, but somebody more my age, I would come around and say, you know, a nursing home minimum is 30000 And so for you to think about remodeling a bathroom to stay in as long as you choose, I mean, think about the economics of that. One time versus year after year of paying for a place that you don't want to be. So um, anyway, and to answer your question about the kitchen, uh, I would that's higher, 30 to 50 a thousand and you know it can be any range it could be less but really it's unrealistic uh, 30,000 again 
to 50, but you know, there's kitchens that are 100,000, there's kitchens that are 75,000, but it depends on what we want to do in the kitchen. So, does that answer it, Leslie? It definitely does. That's great. Yeah, my, my grandmother had a smaller um, galley sort of style kitchen in her condo unit. Um, my mom is probably going to open it all up, but we called it the one butt kitchen. <laughs> one butt could go in there. <laughs> uh, Boomer Smart or Safety or any of this, um, uh, it, it doesn't have to be big. It has to be smart. Right. And that's that's where we we want the designers to uh, be influencing their clients. Once the designers and many of them already know most uh, of what's happening in America, but it, we're going to fine tune that into how to take. Uh, my another one of my big things I teach about is 80% of the time we live in 20% of our spaces. Therefore, they should be over the top. They should have the best lighting, the best luxury, the, the most beautiful, the most comfortable. And so when you think of it that way in your remodel, where are you most of the time? It makes it much more palatable on your budget instead of, you know, this huge elephant, take a couple bites of it and put your money there to be safe and chic and luxurious. Right. And the next step um, we were you were planning on talking about was going to be flooring. And um, I know that that's a huge concern with seniors. Yes. Um, and I've, I've been to enough of the doctor's appointments with my with my grandmother, with with my family members to know that area rugs and lip, you know, the little, um, you know, lips or little, little sort of uh, thresholds, you have to be very careful with like more seamless flooring. Is that correct? Absolutely. And you know, even people your age fall oh, if the wearing yeah. heels. I have a, a, a friend that just fell going out of her garage because there was just that little threshold and she's like 55 something like that ended up breaking both legs I mean that is you know these are the simple little things that hurt my heart because they don't have to happen you know it's not for old just the senior citizens oh, this no everybody but as far as flooring uh, one thing Lori is <sighs> Carpeting uh, is definitely never going to go away, but with that said, uh, these new floorings that have come out have just gained such advantage for anybody's age due to we have so many uh, children and adults with asthma and allergies and we're really into our clean homes. So when we lessen the carpet and have more hard surface, um, there are places for carpeting, most definitely, but it's not the end to end all anymore like we used to have. Right. I, I definitely know that allergens are living in those carpets um, and there are just lots of opportunities for falls and it's not and you're right it's not just age specific because right. the home that I purchased in Arizona um, we had it was like you know most of it was a contractor build mm -hmm. grade product and there was a um, carpet in the living room but the kitchen was tile and it just kind of ended so they just kind of put a seam there I know what you mean. I call that the demarcation from you know where. I right. Mean, you know. <laughs> I hated it because it would have these staples sticking up where they had to try to put in the carpet and you would just sometimes step on it barefoot and, you know, right. grape the bottom of your foot. So it's you know, at Metricon in Dallas recently, I was with some exhibitors there that are into um, – Biode biodegradable, they're sustainable, they're also um, uh, antibacterial, non-linting, and I mean, the, the industry is catching on. So I don't want to say no carpeting, I want to say the type of carpeting. Because even like, you know, the floor pieces, FLO, I mean the brand, yes. there are other brands like that. 
and those are wonderful alternatives that are very uh, low pile. Right. They're, you know, we just don't want squishy. We don't want a thick pad. Um, no, no, no. And we don't want real thick carpeting. That is a recipe for disaster. So these are all amazing, amazing ideas. How um, you're working on educating other designers to become right. approved to be able to do things like this and, and, and form an expertise in this area to, to service their clients. What does that process look like? There's a four-hour CEU. Okay. And it will be broken down into one-hour sessions, but they, per they sign up for it as a package. And so it will be talking about the boomer or the 50 plus profile. And then it will be talking about, um, it will take in all of this, the details. You know, what, what does a safe bathroom require? What should we be doing in our kitchens? What is lighting that's appropriate for what we're talking about? And then trends what is coming and and how we should be preparing our clients for it there's a huge shift happening in america and these designers that are going to be in the know and be known as the experts they will be coveted it, it's a huge opportunity for them because people don't know what they don't know but when they find in the this age group they're the ones that use consultants more than any other age group. I don't know if you're aware of that, but look at who's using all the trainers. Um, all I mean, financial planners. It's, it's, it's in their DNA. And they also, this age group, wants to be with somebody that is of status because it makes them look good. So the designer that is out there being ahead of the pack is only setting her or himself apart to be successful, in my opinion. And I'd like to add a little bit to that, if I could. Sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so, Mitzi, but that's something exciting for all of you that might be watching this that know me, that I'm very, I'm thrilled that Mitzi's doing, is her four-hour CE that she just mentioned will be available very soon on her customized online channel, so that all of you out there that would like to take this four-hour CEU, which, by the way, is HSW and IDCEC and KBA approved, yeah. uh, can do that online at your convenience. And once you finish that, there's a little test at the end of her CEU, and you'll be able to take that. And once you do, Mitzi has developed an exclusive and beautiful badge for your websites or blogs that says Certified Boomer Smart Expert by Mitzi Beach in small letters at the bottom. It's a little round button or badge that you'll be able to put on your own websites or blogs so you can identify yourself and help your clients understand that you've been trained by Mitzi. In addition, she's developing on her own site, which is MitziBeach.com, an online directory for those designers that have taken um, her four-hour CEU and have her, web, her badge on their site. And she's going to have on her own site a directory for consumers so that a consumer that's coming to Mitzi's site can go and find local designers that have been trained by Mitzi as certified Boomer Smarts experts, and that will be a searchable online directory. So I think those are just very exciting initiatives that Mitzi's taken on upon herself to help all the designers that might be watching this, um, you know, find a certified Boomer Smarts expert who's been trained with some with, with Mitzi's expertise. Uh, Mitzi, by the way, hasn't mentioned it, but she has her master's in interior design. She's NCIBQ certified. She also is CAP certified, so she is a published author as well and a national speaker in addition to that. So if you're trained by Mitzi and you have that badge on your website and you're on her own on-site directory, I strongly feel that as a designer watching this, you'll really be able to capture more of the market in your local area if you want to propel your businesses forward. And as a homeowner who might be watching this, come to Mitzi's site and look for certified Boomer Smarts experts, and then you'll know that they really do know what they're talking about. I, I agree. I think it's something that you have to have that education. You have to know that, um, you know, what, what is required. And I think, Mitzi, one of the things that you were talking about that was incredibly important is that it doesn't have to be, have to be 
not stylish. It doesn't have to, you know, right. it can look beautiful. Yeah. So what are the things that you think, what are the products that you can just say right now look beautiful but still um, are safe? What are, you, what are you recommending? I'm recommending these wonderful showers. I did a blog post one time that said, is your shower like a Stephen King movie? I mean, <laughs> You know, they are so frightening. They're little tiny boxes. And so um, doing a beautiful shower with um, just uh, a handheld. And so whether or not you, you know, you just had a knee accident or you just want to sit down and have a shower and a rain head. Uh, wonderful products that are out now for the kitchen are sensors. We saw so much of this at KBiz last year that are coming out. Sensors in every kind of area. Um, also, healthy, uh, healthy kitchens is going to be huge. And the steam ovens, oh my goodness, they're going to come on like gangbusters. So, um, it, no more are we just going to be specking appliances. But our clients and these and our designers in our Boomer Smart um, arena are going to know what appliances these this uh, this demographic is seeking and be ahead of the curve. You know, and it doesn't. And you you also talked about it not being just for for baby boomers. That you know, baby boomers are also watching their you know they've watched their parents age and they they've discovered the issues that their parents faced but they also have children my my mom she did, she got her with my grandmother's condo and some of the renovations she's already done to it she's thinking ahead um, she knows the challenges but she's also thinking about passing it on and investing in quality pieces that will um, help the property value right. so, I think that those things are really important and staying on those trends um, mm -hmm. and being maybe even a little ahead of the trend so the trend lasts longer. And and really your home will be mar more marketable because by 2030 uh, a quarter to one third of the population will be well over into their early 60s and in, way into the 50s for sure. So that's not that far away. So doing these things to our homes now through designers that are certified and know how to direct their, their clientele, they will be giving their clients a value that is long term. Right. And I want to say that is a very marketable thing for all of you designers. I'm sure you're picking up on that. But if you can be a Boomer Smart certified expert, and then you can use that and share with your clients that if they'll let you remodel their homes in mm -hmm. this way, that you can increase the market value and not only increase it, but also use that as a way to market their homes or help the real estate agent that you might be working with. It will right. happen, Leslie, yes, and, and it will be a marketable item. Northern California, they even call it Boomer Ready Homes and Accident Free Homes. And the realtors in the Bay Area, I mean, I think it's genius that they've caught on to this. And um, I, I predict it will be an occurrence uh, in many of the moving and shaking areas where people want to be ahead of the curve. Absolutely, Leslie. So when someone has your Boomer Smarts Expert badge on their site and they can show the real estate agent that, mm -hmm. that is going to help increase the home value. And I personally really believe that that's something very solid that a homeowner that's thinking about hiring a designer, any of you out there that are watching this, will really grab onto. It's one of the few ways that we really have to say this is the value of, of really good design and remodeling. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I can see the real estate agent being able to use even that terminology to say that this is a boomer smart home. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, that, um, that that would absolutely attract buyers, not just baby boomers, but also any family who wants an accessible home who might have a child that needs mm -hmm. that kind of environment or they have had an injury. I mean, it's not just baby boomers who need to care about safety. It's accessible for all people. And I think that the major point that you're talking about is that it's not just accessible the t at the time you bought the home. You know, a lot of times you find retirees maybe purchasing a home in the beginning of their retirement that they live their, the rest of their days in and they're much more active when they're in their 
60s than they are at their 80s. Right. So those kinds of changes where they can stay within the home rather than going out of the home mm -hmm. are really important and knowing what to look for to keep that accessibility um, probably really helps helps them make a great buying decision. Oh yes, and what a as Leslie was saying, what a marketable gem it would be to buy a home in your fifties or sixties that was already ready for this. Right, right. You know? I mean, for people that are flipping homes, imagine designers that could be into that whole arena preparing homes. I mean, it will be big. It has to be. I mean, there's almost eighty million of us. Right, um, and it doesn't have to just be homes like actual. Houses, yeah. and we're talking condos and, you know, every, every apartments, apartments, exactly. Um, oh, yeah. Leslie's been telling us about the luxury apartments, and, and luxury just for luxury doesn't really cut it, does it? We need to have the combo. We right. need to have it safe and luxurious, and that's not an oxymoron. It can yeah. happen easily by those that are trained to know how to do that. The days of it being a, a medicinal look, um, it's such a stereotype that really we can crush. We don't have to think that way anymore. There's too many beautiful ways to accomplish this. I love that. Well, thank you so much, Mitzi, for coming on our show and explaining a little bit about uh, Boomer Smarts and educating our designers for this market because I think it's definitely going to be a growing trend. We all think it's going to be a growing trend. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you visit Mitzi Beach at um, Mitzi, www.mitzibeach.com. It will be in the description of this video on YouTube and here on Google Plus. Mm -hmm. And check out her course. I mean, four hours of your time getting this approved, I can see that that would be a huge value, mm -hmm. even if you don't use it every single for every single client. Um, it's definitely something that you might want to know. How much is your CEU? Uh, for the four hours, it's $250. And where can they sign up? On my site. And I know, Lori, we're, we're making it very affordable because yeah. the passion <laughs> is we want to move this move, movement in the reality. They can sign up on my site, mitzibeach.com. Okay, fan fantastic. Um, Make sure that you visit us on interiordesigncommunity.com. Always come to us on Google Plus because we're definitely here to answer any questions. Leslie, you, you know you can reach out to her um, here on Google Plus or myself, Lori Leisure. And make sure you come to our next show. It's going to be a really great one. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you Have so a much. Bye.